Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, famous structure of Western Armenia, Tigrana Kert Castle, UNESCO's intervention in order to preserve Armenia monuments in Artsakh becomes urgent. Armenia Foreign Minister meets with Valery Freeland. The Azerbaijan authorities continue to zombify the population in the image of Armenian enemy. Museum night at the Yerushe Charents Museum of Literature and Art. St. Maria Mastratzatin on the Ale was demolished in Kastadnapol. On many ancient Dutch maps, Armenia stretches to the banks of the Kur River. Syria will withdraw 35,000 troops against the Turks. The Great Turkish Syrian War begins. Armenia's first space satellite has been launched into the orbit of the planet Earth. One of the historical and cultural treasures of Western Armenia, the Tigrana Kert Fortress, defines history with its quality and durability. It is easy to say that the walls of this castle have been standing for about 9,000 years. The castle occupies a special place in a book of records for the length of surrounding walls. The cultural significance of the Tigrana Kert Fortress was officially registered by UNESCO in 2015, when it was declared a World Heritage Site. This powerful architectural structure deserves to be remembered not only for its splendor, but also for its handmade architectural solutions. There is also a legend about the castle. They say that if the Harbert Fortress and the Tigrana Kert Fortress, built by two masters, are destroyed at the same time, then the apocalypse will begin. Of course, given the strength of these walls, this seems to be nothing to be afraid of. Minister of Foreign Affairs of Republic of Armenia, Arat Mirzoyan, received Valery Frelan, Executive Director of International Alliance for the Protection of Heritage in Conflict Zones. According to the Armenian Foreign Minister, Arat Mirzoyan noted that the protection of the Armenian culture and religious heritage from destruction and distortion of identity in a territory that came under the control of the Azerbaijan as a result of the 44-day war is one of the priorities of Armenia. It was stressed that there is a serious threat of the complete destruction of more than 2,000 Armenian culture objects and 21,000 museum exhibits. The Armenian side stressed that in current situation, the immediate intervention of the international community, in particular UNESCO, becomes more urgent in order to preserve the Armenian monuments of Artsakh, which are part of universal cultural heritage, and prevent ongoing cases of vandalism. The Azerbaijan authorities continue to zombify their own population. To show hatred for Armenians, victory museums are opening, in which the image of Armenian enemy is presented. With the participation of the Alevis, the opening of another such museum took place. The Zangela, not even a museum, will appear, but a complex of museums, occupation and victory. On May 26, President of Azerbaijan Ilyam Aliyev and Mehriban Alieva attended a ceremony in parallel with brainwashing of the population of their own country an attempt is being made to blunt the vigilance of Armenia and foreign partners by taking about normalization of relations, regional stability, peace and friendships throughout the world. On the museum night, Western Armenia TV visited the Yerushe Charent Museum of Literature and Art. The director and staff of the museum presented interesting facts from the life of great poet and demonstrated such important six stored in a museum of Kamancha Sayat Nova, the famous photo of Charent, which was shown in a hall after his death. His poem dedicated to Komitas, which was kept thanks to Regina Kazarian, a young artist, is also on display in the hall. This year marks the 125th anniversary of the birth of Charent and Museum declared the year of year of Charent. By the decision of the head of the community in the SNL court of Kastadnapol, who is a representative of the current government, the grave of the Saint Maria Mastratzadzin, considered a shrine of Alevis, was secretly demolished from the population. The holy place was destroyed on a basis of being on a territory of the urban transformation program. About 80,000 Alevis live in this area. The encroachment of their faith and rights caused a wave of protest. Administration officials even accused the leaders of the Alevi community of deceiving them, claiming that there are no graves at the heart of the destroyed structure. Cartographer Ruben Kalichan showed the work of cartographer named Delhi, where Armenia stretches to the bank of Kur River and a part where Azerbaijan is today in the Shirma. 
This map from 1662 shows the territory of Asia and Greater Armenia is written in the east. The cartographer presented more than 50 maps in the book Armenia and the Old Dutch Maps. According to him, on all these maps where our region is located, there is the name Armenia. Even if there was no state Armenian lived here, it is written Armenia. There is a Persia in this region, Turkey after the 15th century, and Azerbaijan does not exist on any map. It should be noted that a book Armenia on ancient Dutch maps was published in Armenia. This book is already available in universities and libraries in the Netherlands. Speaking after the government meeting, Erdogan said that Turkey intends to complete the process of creating a security zone on its southern borders with the depth of 30 kilometers. Actions will begin after the relevant work. The decision will be made at a meeting of National Security Council. A Turkish newspaper noted that Russia has withdrawn its units located in eight districts of Syria. The spokesman of the Syrian National Army, Yusuf Hamoud, said that Iran and backed Shiite militants are trying to fill the territories liberated by Russia. It's especially in Latakia, Aleppo and Iblid, the Syrian National Army has begun preparation for the start of hostilities. It is reported that 35 soldiers are ready for possible actions. The strategic objective of the operation will be close to western border, which will be controlled by Jarabuz and Tel Abyad. The first space satellite of Republic of Armenia has been taken into the orbit of the planet Earth. On May 25, 2022, year of time, the first escape satellite of Republic of Armenia was launched into the orbit of the planet from the SpaceX Cosmodrome at Canaveral, USA. With this, the Republic of Armenia is entering the era of space activity, and we hope that our wish traditions in this field will be restored. Now musical part, Armenian folk song. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.